want to show you something that's kind of funny. We are trying out a new television camera and uh, we're trying it out before we buy it because literally it is thousands and thousands of dollars. And uh, But our videos are going around the world and it's important that we do good quality. Well, I'm going to talk today about surrendering, uh, many levels of surrendering. Let me show you the instruction manual for this television camera. Here it is. It is the size of a telephone book for a medium-sized city in America. And when I first saw this, I just said, oh my gosh, because I'm a man. I don't read instruction books. And uh, it has taken literally 19 hours to learn how to turn the thing on. And we're still not sure that it's going to work, but we're using it through the weekend. Then we'll probably have to revert back to the old ways just for a while. Well, let me talk about surrender. I had to surrender myself and my old ways uh, that uh, were not going to work this time. I had to actually go to bed at night and uh, prop myself up and begin to turn to page one <clears throat> and then go all the way to page 440 of this instruction manual had the best sleep of my life. I literally fell asleep on page four. And uh, when I woke up the next morning, <laughs> I had to surrender again to uh, doing what I didn't want to do. Well, many times you and I have to surrender to what we don't want to do. In Luke 23, uh, verse 46, Jesus said, Father, unto your hands I commend my spirit. There are many times that we have to surrender to God. It can be a little thing like this, something we don't like doing, like reading a telephone book of instructions, or it can be something bigger in life. Many of you have gone through what I consider to be a crucifixion experience. I talk about this often at Easter. Many of us have been crucified in various ways in our lives by having extremely unpleasant things happen to us that, truthfully, we didn't deserve. Yet they happened, and we had to go through it. Well, what did Jesus do at a time like this? He surrendered. He let go of his human doubts, let go of his human fears, and placed his trust in God. And I tell you, that is the ultimate right way to do it. It is to place our trust in God, to place our life in God's hands, knowing that God will never fail us. Now, when we go through what seems like a crucifixion experience, it can be over many things in life. It can be facing something as small as this, or it can be something where someone says to you, I don't love you anymore. Or someone says, we don't need you at our company anymore. We're going to let you go today. And that is something that uh, is so hard to take. It is as if we have been just hit in the face with, with a dilemma that we don't deserve. Another thing is when we feel we've been betrayed by a friend well, you can surrender at a time like this. You can surrender your concerns about God. You can surrender any doubt about what is or what is not possible. You can place your trust in God, and you know what that leads to. It leads to a resurrection of the soul that will keep you on the right path and, and see you 